out. Just see. <laughs> I should have brought my tripod. Yeah, fuck, I know. It's I'll all good. Let's try one. that. All right. So we're uh, we're driving here. Um, it's a beautiful Melbourne day. I'm with a good friend, Carl Paoli. And uh, we were talking about anxiety and our anxieties. That gives people enough perspective, surely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. That's all they need. We're <laughs> anxious people. Yeah, we're just, we're just anxious right now. <laughs> um, a lot of times um, what happens is that it's, it's normal to define people by their behaviors, by uh, their resume, by yeah. their uh, strengths and the things that they do and their, their qualities. When in reality, uh, that's just uh, a byproduct of, of who they really are and how they're interacting with the world. Exactly. And, yeah, I, yeah. and I think when when one is uh, uh, slightly disconnected yep. with the reality of who you really are, mm. uh, you become attached to these identities. Potentially something that uh, could be different than what you believe to be true, Yeah. then you suffer immediate dissonance I believe and that dissonance of course uh, is uh, can be a feeling of uh, turmoil and mm. just confusion and mm. of course uh, I, I can totally see that that no matter how um, normal you are or how comfortable you are with certain things or how defined you may become uh, within a role or a, a way that people portray you mm. th- there as you change as you grow you're going to go through these transitions. Yeah. I think, and like we were talking about uh, last night, uh, I had a, a mini episode when I woke up. Yeah. But that that episode was was just because I was confused. I was jet lagged. I didn't know what I, where I was. But as soon as I, I did the basics, such as okay, am I breathing? Yes. Yeah. Great. Uh, can I feel my body? Yes. Where am I? I'm in this hotel room. I'm. Where am I? Oh, I'm in Australia. Great. I'm safe. There's a kangaroo. Yeah. Yeah. There's a kangaroo. That kangaroo is uh, giving me anxiety. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But all the basics, just uh, situational awareness, body awareness, yeah. uh, breathing through it, and uh, looking where you want to go. Yeah, exactly. Where, where do you want to yep. go? And, yep. and as soon as you direct yourself uh, where you want to go, immediately you gain control. Yeah. And, yep. and here's the big thing that I, I uh, have kind of learned over the years, and I, I was able to exercise last night, was that... Uh, the, the focus is on continuing to look where you want to go. As mm. soon as you allow uh, the other thing to come in and for yourself to lose awareness of what is, immediately uh, you, you, you're going to get lost in the shuffle. And, yep. and that, that is the nemesis. And I think people, guys, <laughs> you, you're patient. It's yeah, good. This could become a drinking game. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, I'd probably get pulled over. Yeah, every, every time the phone flips, <laughs> you guys will drink. It'll be really helpful Please. for your anxiety. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're here to help. Yeah. Have a drink. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's it's continue to keep focus and don't freak out if it if it waves up and down because it waves, right? Mm. You, oh, I feel a little better. And as soon as you think you feel better, um, it'll get you again. It'll right? get you again. Yeah. So it's yeah. continue to exercise consistency, mm. whether it's in a small transition or if it's uh, a longer period transition. Don't give up. Yeah. It, there is hope. Well, um, so when um, well, so when you and I first became mates, really, it was um in Bali mm-hmm. um on a trip, and I think I don't know how we got onto it straight away, but we started um talking straight away about mental health. Yeah, and, you um, asked me something, and yeah. I I went straight there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, sheesh, this guy's next level. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah. Did you want to just um let the the people watching like what your I guess period of depression was really and what it was what was it all about? Yeah. Yeah. There were several there's several things that, that several things that happened to me. These guys are gonna drink a lot. I'm, I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's uh, the acceleration. Yeah. This, this this is what happens uh when you don't have a tripod. But yeah. the the big thing that happened to me was within uh, a pretty short span of time I I I made a name for myself. Um, in the fitness world, yeah. and specifically in, in the CrossFit world, and that was fantastic. It's fun, and it's I was a big fish in a small pot, put yeah. it that way. Yep. And just that alone came with some uh, confusion in terms of who am I, what am I doing, what's my role, why should people even care about me? Yep. I, I'm just a guy trying to figure it out. Yeah. Guys, this is crazy right now. <laughs> uh, 
Here we go. Here we Tommy, go. you're driving, man. I know. It's, it's embarrassing. Uh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> um, it's not a Tesla. It's not a Tesla. <laughs> it's a Volks, yeah, Volks Tesla. It, hey, it's great. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> and and that, that was confusing. And then in addition to that, uh, my wife and I, we became foster parents. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we, we eventually ended up adopting a teenager. Mm. And... Uh, not any teenager, a teenager whose biological family was relatively close by, but I've been in foster care for a long time, mm. and uh, um, also was black, and yeah. and this uh, may seem uh, simple, but having uh, that clash of races uh, was a big deal, and a bigger deal than I thought it would ever be. I didn't realize that uh, that was going to create a problem mm. with us and her biological family mm. and uh, even close friends and family, yeah. how, how they reacted to it. And it wasn't negative, it was just different than I expected it would be. Yeah, yeah. And that just created a... It's fucking tough, man. It's a massive new thing to take on. Crazy. Mm. So becoming a dad, uh, kind of a dealing with or struggling with trying to understand identity that I had created within this fitness space, yep. this little micro fame, that was all confusing. So it just led to uh, this massive introversion that had me thinking about my life and the things I cared about and, yep. and why I should care about these things. And uh, I, I was just, yeah. I just went into a dark place. Yeah, but I guess like even as well, it's something where, I mean, you clearly just have to spend so much more time on something else that's not mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that you're selfish or anything. You're a selfish bugger, mate. Right. right. <laughs> but, like, it's just your life is literally centered around someone else now. And you yeah. can't pursue that, I guess, big fish in small pond thing anymore. Mm -hmm. you, you, your life just changes. Right. You know? Right. And so what were you, um, so, yeah, you were in the hole, basically, yeah. for a while. And, and eventually through some basic meditation, uh, regaining my confidence to get back into uh, training and being physical yeah and ultimately what what made the big change was connecting with my parents again yeah. in a way where I could appreciate uh, everything they had done for me growing up yeah and uh, really just expressing uh, how thankful I was for that mm. and I think that's what changed everything I, I, I was able to appreciate who I was what I was how, how I was doing things but really the relationship that I had with myself yeah exactly and would you say that's one of the biggest things in well I mean you can speak from your personal experience mm -hmm. but in general I guess you hear a lot about people you know I mean Jim Carrey was just recently talking about how when he went through depression he actually calls depressed deep rest mm. because it's just like a sense of coming back to who you really are as an individual yeah and, and, and all that sort of stuff and what sort of changed in your personal journey after uh, after you were able to combat that? Realizing that there there are things I can control and things I can't control. Yeah. Focusing on the things that I can't control is gonna drive me nuts. Yeah. And although I, I feel like I'm a very um, uh, highly functioning individual and I, I am an effective and efficient communicator and I feel like I'm relatively smart and I can problem solve, mm. You can't solve the things that you can't control. Like I, I can't control the weather. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. I can control where I'm standing when it's hot. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. I can control what I'm drinking, how I'm eating, uh, and and when you do that, you become present and you become a proactive participant in life. Mm. And now, as life unfolds, it doesn't matter how uh, chaotic it may seem or unpredictable, because you are controlling yourself, you mm. are uh, proactive in terms of how you are uh, experiencing life unfolding in front of you, you immediately feel satisfied. 100%. Yeah, whether, 100%. It's, whether it's hard and difficult and uncomfortable, it's no longer painful though. Yes. That's yes. the beauty, beauty is that there's no pain, there's no suffering, there's no, you don't feel heavy in mm. that numbness where you just can't function. Uh, that doesn't exist, that goes mm. away. It's this, discomfort which is a stressor that it's like training exactly you, you you feel like you got better when you come out on the other side yeah for sure yeah you, yeah I mean it's just so great to look back on it within retrospect and oh by the way that's Dan everybody <laughs> <laughs> how are we Dan 
<laughs> he's just some weirdo we picked up. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted an ice cream. Yeah. Dan is out with me uh, here in uh, Australia traveling. We're, we're doing seminars uh, around Australia and New mm. Zealand, and he's flown out from uh, Denmark, and uh, he's kicking ass, and uh, it's exciting to have him. Yeah, he's a legend. He actually reached out to you himself. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Dan, you have a voice. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> um, yeah, but so Carl, what are your what are some of your um, strategies to because you and I obviously are very big on the belief that it's not about recovering, it's about just learning to understand yourself more and more as you go, and that's what life experience is. And but we can all still definitely get anxious from time to time. Um, but what are some of the things you you put in place when um, your anxiety is high, for example? Yeah, like it was last night. Yeah. So the first one is is becoming aware of what is it in terms of your senses that uh, physical senses that can maybe trigger anxiety. Yeah. For me, it's uh, loud noises, and uh, and and what what I've 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 done for myself is mm. any white noise I can create. Oh yeah. The better. Yeah. So uh, you know, you go on YouTube and you just look up uh, white noise or healing frequencies or whatever. Yes. Yeah. All of these frequencies, what they have in the background is a white noise mm. uh, foundation or base. So like binaural beats and all that. Yeah, so yep. you can just put that on and, and just that alone uh, creates a tone and a vibration in your body that what it does next for me is it allows me now to focus on the breath. Yep. Yep. And as soon as I start breathing, I, I, can, I can start paying attention to how deep I'm breathing. Yep. Uh, and, and then the big thing that I, I notice has always been the speed. It's the the slower I can breathe, the more control and traction I gain. Yep. And it's yep. it's it's now becomes a visual thing where for me mm. it's uh, I feel like uh, as soon as I start breathing, it's almost like I'm entering a room, yeah. and I have this uh, option of closing the door behind me. Oh yeah yeah. And when yep. I when I close the door behind me, and I actually do that mentally, I close the door behind me. I am leaving myself yeah the anxious one as uh, much as we love him yeah as much <laughs> as we love him and the other door and I just say hey I need some time yeah for sure you know yep. give me some space yeah and that 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 just allows me to now uh, uh, give myself an opportunity to reset recover uh, in a way where there is uh, no rush there is uh, I don't we're, guys, we're drinking a lot. <laughs> that was the first time in a while. Though. Yeah, that was the first time in a while. You've done, you done well. You've done very well, yeah. yeah. You guys are hanging for a sip. You guys are. <laughs> man. Uh, let's go. Um, have a beer. Yeah, exactly. Have a beer. <laughs> yeah, so that's 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 kind of some of them. The, the other one is uh, moving around. So yep. just getting moving is key. And, uh, so you mean like with your job or as in like general and exercise? Anything, and, but okay. f physical movement is, is one of the most powerful for ones. For sure, yeah. From walking. Oh, this roundabout's going to be interesting. Yeah, this roundabout. We're, we're good. Roundabout. No beers for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm holding it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, yeah, going for a walk, uh, going for a run. As soon as you start walking, yep. there's this numbing pain that comes with anxiety too that just, it, it just drains you oh, and man, you, it paralyzes you. Totally, totally. But when you allow yourself to walk, you are actually uh, moving the the energy through your body, mm. and and it and it really gives you some space. Yeah. And as soon as that movement catches your breath, you're 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 onto something else. Yeah. And hundred percent. And I think that's where it's important to have different options. Mm. Uh, another thing that I've done is when I'm in a really bad state, I have jumped in the shower with clothes on cold shower oh cold. Right. yes just take yourself right out of that, it you, it yeah. takes you right out of it yep because you can't think about anything else yep. like you're fucking in uh -huh. a state in a you're, state you know? you're in yeah. a state yep. and then what what that does is right after that shower uh you start shaking yep and that that <laughs> you that, start dying yeah you start dying no <laughs> but the 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 shake makes you once again focus on the breath unless yep. you're trained enough Have holy a moly Have a guys Unless you're trained enough, and all of a sudden, um, you, you're able to focus on the breath while you're in the shower. Yep. And that's kind of more along the lines of uh, a Wim Hof kind of thing. Yes. Uh, yep. And any kind of yoga practice. Uh, 
that's that's uh, that's that. So mm. that those are some. Mm. I would say uh, situational awareness uh, with breath. I would say uh, get some movement going. Mm. Allow yourself to walk. Walk. Look straight forward. Don't look down. Don't try to just move. Mm. If you can run, run. If you can do a push up, do a push up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As soon as it catches your breath, you're gonna be fine. And then the the cold, you know. So way to do it. Dose it. That one's gonna reset you quick. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> and uh, Carl, one last final thing, mate. Just a very quick way yeah. to finish it off. It's what I do with all the YouTube stuff. Where would you like to see the, the concept of mental health within the, the coming years? So, I mean, obviously now there's a, I guess, still a big sort of taboo on it. I mm -hmm. mean, the, the awareness is being raised, but no one's really talking about their specific intricacies um, in depth. But what would you like to see um, mental health viewed as in, in, in the years to come? Yeah, I think, I think in terms of if it's about my own mental health, uh, it's a constant practice. So that all I need is uh, a community of people and, and a support group to be able to continue to talk mm. about these things because uh, I've had experiences of course like everyone has had yep. but that doesn't mean I have a language for it that I feel is uh, polished enough yeah. that I have a full understanding yeah so that'll be number one it's having a support group and developing a language mm. the other thing that I would like to see is I would love to see uh, more people addressing uh, mental health as something that goes beyond beyond a behavior. Yeah, uh, for sure. I feel like we're so totally attached good. to behavior, and uh, like the other day we were watching a, a documentary on this guy Kevin Ogar who oh yeah oh bro yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro broke his back yes. and ended up in, in the wheelchair. I've, yep. I've I've had a chance to work with him. Well, I feel like they they dismissed the the mental health. Uh, challenges that comes with that was it like it was just as opposed to like oh you've done so well to do CrossFit again but it's like think of the struggle that was going on yeah internally yes yeah. exactly it's uh, and and the one that did talk about mental health within that that documentary was uh, Stouty Christopher uh, Stoutenberg he okay. he talked about it and said you know uh, those who are suffering from mental health and and don't get moving mm. they end up in a really bad state and some uh, commit suicide, end up committing yeah. suicide. And, 100%, 100%. And, and if we can prevent that simply by talking about it and yep. getting people who are not familiar with mental health to address it, I think we're, we're going to make a big impact. So yep. I think uh, yep. that's why the community and the language is important mm. and trying to make that something universal that people can relate to. Yep. Yeah, and I think if we do that, we're we're crushing. Awesome. Yeah, Carl, thank you so much for coming on board the mind, mate, mate. Dude, thank you. I'm glad we did awesome. it here in the car. I know it's good. It's good. If you are drinking beers, which I will tell you to do before the show, uh, hopefully you're on ten. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. Dude. All right, man. Thanks, guys. See ya.